All right, I'm getting prepared to heat shrink my batteries, and uh, the first step before I put all my wires on the battery cells, I'm just using some high tensile scotch tape to uh, wrap the batteries in their configuration that they're in. So once I heat shrink them, they'll be uh, strong and sturdy, and they won't uh, break apart. And uh, now I can take off these temporary battery leads and put on all of the leads that I have to put on. There's going to be a bunch of wires, but we'll get them on eventually. But uh, this tape works very well. It's okay. I split apart my second pack, and I got the tape going around those cells too to keep them all bundled up. Stuff's awesome. Definitely recommend it for holding these small cells together. Okay, I got all my balance leads, and I changed out that uh, eight gauge aluminum wire to some ten gauge fine stranded copper because that's what I've been using on the whole build and I have half of the balance leads on this half of the battery done okay and here's that pack flipped over with all the balance leads done and as you can see I have all the balance leads and my two primary leads just need charging leads and we're good to go got primary secondaries and all balance leads I got them taped up and ready to go all the wires are running fairly clean across the top of the cells and I can slip over the heat shrink and get them heat shrinked. Okay, I got the first battery that's completed with all of its wires here on my table at work and I got my heat gun and I have my piece of turning heat shrink that I'm going to be slipping over it and heating it down right now. Let's see how it comes out. There we have it, not bad at all. He shrink shrunk it down properly right to the size we expected it to. I'm glad uh, Karma Bikes recommended this size heat shrink. It worked out perfect. Gonna do a little trimming of the excess on the ends and uh this pack's done. Okay, I cleaned up my connections and my wires coming off of the battery a little bit. Put a couple of zip ties on my charging leads and uh Neatened up my balance leads a little bit. Still don't have any ends on them yet, but it's no big deal. All right, here's a pic of the first battery heat shrinked and mounted into its location. It sits very nicely on the piece of aluminum stock, and it just just makes it and clears into the controller here. The wires are a little bit tight, but I'll be able to work with them, and uh, everything's fitting in. Hopefully I can get the second pack finished tonight and get it brought in tomorrow and hopefully we, it'll fit in there just as good as the first one did. Okay, I got the soldering iron heating up and I'm going to do the second battery pack. Let's get it all wired up. Let's get the balance leads on here. Let's get it finished up. Okay, we got this half of the battery all done. Uh, I got the balance leads. I'm using yellow this time instead of green just because that's what I have for conductors. Uh, I got them all taped up and this whole side is done. So it's time to flip the pack over and get the rest of the balance leads in. Everything else is done. It's coming out good. Okay, and this half of the battery is done. Got all the balance leads. And I got that high tensile tape just going around it, so when I heat shrink everything, everything stays in nice, and I have no problems. First battery pack came out great, so I expect the same on this one. But it's fully wired, ready to go. Get in the bike tomorrow, hook it up, get a test ride, see how these cells actually are. Okay, I got my second 36 volt battery pack completed and here at work. I got my heat gun and I cut my two pieces of heat shrink to size that I'm going to be melting over it. And it's time to finish it up. And there's the top of the battery pack, so I'll shrunk down. I'm going to flip it over and make sure they're all finished and the bottom looks good. And there's the pack flipped over. Comes out pretty nice. Now I'm going to neaten up all the wires coming off the pack and see if I can get it put on the bike and it fits in there. Alright, the batteries fit in the frame. This is a very good time 
This is awesome. I'm glad everything fits. They're resting on the shock right now, so they're not going to be that close to it. I'm going to put them up probably two more inches. It's a mess in there. Tons of wires. I've got to get it all situated. Get the packs strapped down so they don't move. And uh, hopefully I can get these things connected up today see if uh, they actually work. I'm very curious to see if they'll actually pull the amperage I need. Hopefully we'll find out very soon. Okay, like always, I have to test the battery packs before I fully mount them. And I have them just taped in there with some duct tape temporarily. And the wires are all just temped out with wire nuts. I'm just going to see if it runs and operates properly. And if it does, I will complete the mounting of the batteries and wire them properly and solder everything. So, let's see if it works. Okay, it works. It works good, and I'm glad it does. I just did a couple of rips around the warehouse here. And it seems like it has just as much power as it did when the LiPos were in it. It takes off good, lifts up the front, front wheel, and if I uh, give it some, it could spin the back tire as long as my whole weight's not on the seat. So it's got the torque. Let's get it fully wired up and see how it goes.